I love my TS100 soldering iron. Sadly, these soldering irons have a problem. Display dims over time. I'll turn off a light of the three I have. As you can see, nothing is still visible. I turn off a second light. It seems that nothing can still be seen. But if I look for the right angle, something can be seen. I turn off a third light. Only the room's ambient light is left. Remove the 1.5 mm Allen screws. Note that this screw is longer. This way you won't have any problems when assembling it later. Leverage one side with something thin. Be careful with the tabs that hold it in place. Bring the fuck back. Remove the screws holding the PCB. Be careful with the copper parts that will be left loose. Remove the copper parts. Check where each one is mounted to reassemble them properly. Be careful too with this one. Bring the funk back. We can now remove the PCB. This is the screen we have to change. It is attached to the PCB with two small adhesive pads. I have found it easy to remove them carefully with a cutter. In the description you have a link to the display in AliExpress. Remove them carefully so that they can be put back in place. The display is attached with a flex. The first thing to do is to unsolder it. We will use a little flux to make it easier. Bring the funk back. back. 
We warm up the entire strip at the same time. As we pull gently. If it is too difficult, we can add more tin. We go over the area to make it clean and smooth. Bring the funk back. It is time to solder the new screen. Let's go to the microscope to get a better look at it. We square the screen and align the flex connections. It's like a family tree. We give a solder point at the top and another at the bottom. In this way the screen will not move. Also, that way we can easily rectify if necessary. Now we can solder all the contacts by dragging. Bring the funk back. We will use a little flux to make it easier. Clean the flux residues well. Bring the funk back. We check the connections. And it's done. All that remains is to reassemble everything as it was. Before mounting it in the housing, let's check it. Perfect. It is powered at 12 volts so it is not as fast as it could be. Bring the funk back. But it's working great again.